All right, hey everyone, QB King 77 here from the ACS team here to do a video reviewing the official MIUI ROM on the Samsung Epic 4G. It has just booted up. So as you can see, nice lock screen right there. You have a shortcut to your phone application right here. If you press on it and slide down, or messaging, press on it, slide down, or just press on the middle and, uh, and slide down to unlock it. Um, brings up backup and restore, brings up your start screen. I'm gonna skip through all this stuff. Uh, but th this is it. So here you have it, MIUI. I believe it's called MIUI. I honestly don't know since it's Chinese based. It could be MIUI, but I call it MIUI. But as you can see right here, this is the launcher. It does not have an app drawer. You can always download a third party launcher from the market if you'd like having an app drawer. But all your apps are on your home screen. So you, you've got that going for you. You have obviously options down at the bottom you can just press and hold and transfer it over if you don't like it where it is so you can edit all that good stuff where your icons are etc you can have widgets as well so it is kind of like a like an iOS experience not having an app drawer but it's it's a little different so you'll notice some similarities with iOS but definitely not that many anyways look up at the top status bar as you can see, white battery right there, four white signal bars. I'm gonna go ahead and slide down the notification bar. As you can see, it brings up toggles right away. Um, you also have a notifications button. Um, it will actually always bring up the toggles unless you have a notification. Then it brings up notifications, which is really nice considering why would you want it to pull down notifications if you don't have one. So it just always pops up the toggles. So you got GPS, flight mode, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, data, sound brightness, etc. But anyway, anyways, the only thing that does not work is 4G, so you're not gonna have WiMAX, unfortunately. Not yet, it will be coming. But anyways, go ahead and go to menu, go to settings, and I'm gonna go to system, scroll down, go to about phone, and there you have it. Android version 2.3.7, and build number, MIUI. 1, 12, 23, right there. So, you know you are running the UI. It is based off of Android 2.3.7, the latest gingerbread version, so keep that in mind. Uh, you also are going to have all these different options. It, it, the menu's a little bit different, but obviously there are very there are similarities. If you're looking for a certain uh, option, just make sure you check up here for system programs, development settings, etc. Uh, system, you got Wi-Fi, all that good stuff for different settings. So just make sure you check through the settings menu to make sure you know where everything is. Um, you got a different messaging app. Um, as you can see, if I hit new message, it'll slide up. I type in someone, and then I type in the, uh, the text message and hit send. So it uh, looks like that. Obviously, message not sent, clearly. <laughs> But anyways, uh, so it's actually a really cool messaging app. You can actually set it so the message will pop down up at the top here, and you can quick reply right there. Otherwise, you can you can change those settings when you're in the messaging app. Just go to the settings, and uh, I think it's show previews. Actually, new message pop-ups. Just turn that off if you don't like that option. So it's set on by default, so you'll see that. Um, it's, it's, it's a really great ROM. It's really fast, really snappy. Definitely going to want to check it out if you haven't. Another awesome app application it has is the themes application right there similar to theme chooser on cm7 you have a bunch of different themes to choose from i can't choose from them because i'm not on a data network but anyways just go to online theme and you have a bunch of different ones to choose from you can actually customize your theme whether you want to look for just lock screens just home just icons just status bars um, but you can r different ringtones, so you got a bunch of different options within this uh, themes uh, application. So definitely going to want to check that out. Once you flash the ROM, you can make it look like the icons look like ice cream sandwich. You can make the status bar look like ice cream sandwich if you so choose. They have that theme in the. It's not called ice cream sandwich. Just scroll through and look. All right, I went ahead and connected to my Wi-Fi network. So I'm going to go ahead. One thing I really like about MIUI is the browser they include. I do really enjoy the, the browser. Um, obviously, you got these home options, so I'm going to go to Google. It's just a really nice browser. It's got many different features, just adding that to the home screen. Um, you can just hit menu whoop, and go to settings, and you just got a bunch of different settings right here. So that it's always nice to have different settings in your browser. I just, I just really enjoy this browser with the buttons down here, home button, 
whether you want to go to Facebook or Twitter. Uh, but anyways, other than the browser, I can go ahead and show you that Themes app real quick now that I have Wi-Fi. So I'm going to go to Online Themes. Hopefully they load up. It says Loading down at the bottom. Okay, so they are going to load up. It does take a little while to load up them. Uh, I think Black Ice is the ice cream sandwich one. So I'm going to go to Black Ice and download it. Um, it shows it up there and then it'll actually just download the theme for you. It might take a little while. So I'll let that download and go over some other nice things about MIUI. Um, other apps, I mean you got the Torch app. It, it'll turn on your LED light for your camera, sound recorder, market, uh, my locker. I believe that would be your lock screen options. So if you want to change lock screen options, you can go to my locker if you'd like. You update found if you want to update it. Um, but anyways, go ahead. I'm going to go ahead and go back, and I'm going to go to menu, go to settings, and I believe somewhere in here is your tethering and portable hotspot, and it should work just fine. Just turn it on, and it should work. I mean, I don't see why it wouldn't, so definitely check that out if it works or not. I think it does. If not, uh, just download uh, Android Wi-Fi Tether. You can Google it and install that. It would be a third-party app, and it should work fine. Just set Epic 4G as your device. But that's other than that, that's about it for MIUI. Just a quick overview. Everything works very well. Check out the dialer. Very nice. But as I said, everything's customizable and themable, so you can get a different dialer if you don't like this one. It's it's actually pretty nice and, and pretty cool. So nice dialer right there. Um, the camera application works very well as well. I really like the camera application. So if you wanted to check that out, oh, look, yeah. So it's just a little different, I believe, than the stock application. You got a bun bunch of different settings right here. Uh, so it should definitely check out the camera application if uh, you flash this ROM. You got a file explorer, a native file explorer. It's 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 pretty cool. It tells you how much space you have as well as you can go to, it recognizes whether it's a music file, a video file, picture, zip file, an APK, or whatnot. So it's really nice to have that kind of file explorer. Um, my theme is almost done installing. You can actually set uh, folders as well. As you can see, I got a tools folder right there. And you got voice dialer, calculator, clock, backup. So if you want to go an app within that uh, folder, you can. Just select on the folder, brings up all the apps. You can just click and drag them down there if you want. The MIUI Music app is also very nice. Works very well. You got songs, artists, albums, folders, playlists, search. I don't have any music on my SD card right now, but it's, it's really nice. You can just hit shuffle play if you like shuffling. That's pretty much what I do whenever I listen to music. I just press the shuffle button and go. Um, but anyways, I'm going to go ahead and let this finish. And once it's done, I'll show you guys how to apply the theme. All right, so my Black Eyes theme has downloaded, so I'm going to go to Themes. Um, as you can see, it brings it up. If I go back to my local themes, it should be there. There it is, Black Ice 2.3. So I'm going to select it. it. gives you screenshots of what it looks like, and I'm just going to hit Apply. So it's going to go ahead and apply my new theme, and once it does, it will basically just hop right into that theme. It's, it's really nice. So I'll let it apply, as you can see, a successfully applied. As you can see, the menus right away all turn black. Icons down here are all ice cream sandwich. Status bar up at the top, ice cream sandwich looking. So as you can see, very nice, awesome that uh, you can just change it just like that. Your toggles are all colored differently. Notifications are colored. I believe your messaging application will be colored differently. So I mean, you just have a bunch of different theming options. Your dialer is going to look different. So. As I said, everything is themable, which is really nice to have, really great um, that you can change the themes to whatever you want. So that's just a quick, that's just one of the themes. So just if you like the ice cream sandwich theme, which I do like, I Google did a very nice job with the ice cream sandwich theme. But anyways, that's about it. That's just a quick overview of the MIUI ROM, official MIUI ROM on Samsung Epic 4G. Let me know what you think. Leave a comment on the video. I'll be happy to hear from you guys. Uh, be sure to subscribe to me. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, and Google+. Plus. All links will be down in the description. And as always, thanks for watching. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up.